We need to enhance Circus of Chaos with magic. Can you do yes. that? Of course, look, I can do magic. Look, 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 magic, magic, magic. Whoa, Magic Holy. Joe is here, yes! That's, but first, I have to have um, some money. I, I need what? some money to do to do the magic. Uh, no, you signed this form that said you're not getting paid. No, on no, the no, show. no, no, no. I know that, but I need a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars to do the tricks. You know, I need a hundred dollars. Hundred, hundred. You have I owe someone. I do have money. No, but I, I, need, I need the hundred dollars. No, I, I owe someone money though. No, right but now. I need I ma magic. Joe needs magic money. Am I gonna get my magic money back? Of course. Oh, Jesus. Of right. course, of course. Magic Joe has money. I Normally need money. we don't carry hundred dollars. Oh. I, that, I owe this, so I gotta get it. That's okay. That, right. This is a hundred. Some bad clowns. Hundred dollar bill. You yes. You gotta pay your clowns Hun back. Now, is this the hundred dollar you gave me? I just gave it to you. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, this is a hundred dollar. Yes, that's good. But I have something for you because you wanted me to see. I got something really, really cool. I got something in here that you're not gonna believe. Inside this paper bag, you're not gonna believe this. But I have. Uh, <laughs> Straw that would be perfect for you for the show. Yes. Holy. Is that incredible? I need a milkshake. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, this is gonna take. That is a huge. How did you? Okay. The Magic Joe is on the man. I'm the man. Magic Joe. You, card tricks. I'm. I'm so good. Look, 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 look. Card tricks. Card tricks. Card tricks. I could do it all. You know, they say that a magician has to do card tricks. You know, <coughs> uh, the card tricks. Card. <coughs> <coughs> Here. Right. <coughs> Wait. Uh, 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 here. You take. No, I, it's. <laughs> I, uh, car, car what is on the card? What card. is that? There's signed. So you, it just came out of your mouth, though. Okay. Well, signed, signed. 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 Okay. Signed cards. Uh, good. Good. I, I mean, yeah. This, Audition. This, yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, let's try this, let's try this. Look, 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 look. Magic Joe's gonna try one more thing. Watch really slow, look, 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 look. Pay attention, look. Look, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Oh. Clown yeah, colors. Color. Yes! You like that? Look, I'll try it again, watch it again, watch it again. Here it goes, here it goes. Magic Joe, you have to say that, Cousin Dave, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I great, mean, great. Just... Watch, 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 here it goes. Watch. Blow. Gone. Gone. Yes! Magic. Wait! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Look, look, look. It's in your sleeves. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Here it comes. Here it comes. You're not going to believe this. Look, 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 look. Wait a oh minute. Oh my. Wait. What are you doing? Wait is there money in there? Oh my goodness. There is. My $100, right? <laughs> no. No $100 bill there. I don't know how to turn this thing off. Yeah, okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh, all right. Oh, okay, we're, we're on. Uh, Magic Joe, okay? You're gonna read the open of the show before we do anything else, in case we get in a fight, you get uncomfortable, I'm you ready, leave early. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, now watch out, there's a lot of electrical and cords throughout here. If um, one of the things what I need you to do, if you're gonna do any fire tricks, you know, when we're out in the studio, I do have Alexa, these whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, crap. What are you, you gotta be careful, okay? No. I gotta do this right. All right, just read the open. Okay. Jesus. Tonight on Circus of Chaos, gaze into the beauty of Mistress Eden's naughty hotties. Get legal with the Ark Law Group. Enjoy Uncle Smarm and his tunes. And the moment you've all been waiting for, magically appearing its legendary horror host, Ball Rock Del Cabo! Whoa, I'm Magic Joe, and I'm your host tonight, sharing magic from Miss Direction's Magic Shop. Check this out. Whoa! I'm Mistress Eden, and it's time for more Mistress Eden's Naughty Hotties, the segment where I introduce you to some of my fabulously talented friends. This week, we have Miss Ava Lynch. Ava, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm very happy to be here. Now, Eva, could you tell me a little bit more about how you got into burlesque and how long you've been performing? I've been performing since 2010. Um, started go-going, modeling, um, and I saw some really wonderful, talented performers around the Bay Area. And I saw that performers of all shapes and sizes and ages 
can be as equally as beautiful and lovely on stage, regardless of what they were wearing, how they were dancing, and so that really inspired me to sort of get into it. It's empowering, isn't it? It is, very much so. Now, your look is fantastic. It's oh, thank really you. really unique, it's very thank gorgeous. You. Who are some of your influences as a performer or who just influences your style in general? Um, when I came to the Bay Area, I was very fortunate to get to know a lovely, uh, talented designer, um, Penny at Lust Designs Latex. And Eden is also a wonderful model for Miss Penny. We love Penny. Hi, I know. <laughs> and, uh, and so I got to learn a lot about um, fetish and alternative fashion from her. Um, and started branching out to other designers as well. And yeah, so there's nothing like this. And unfortunately, I'm not in latex today, but I will be back, hopefully in the future. Um, and just the feeling of being in latex and being lubed up and being sexy. and That I agree yeah. with. <laughs> Sometimes our friends can be a more profound influence on us than yes. any famous person could ever be. Now, one last question I'm dying to know. Mm -hmm. You're obviously a hottie. This Thank segment's you. called Naughty Hotties. <laughs> But what, what makes you naughty? Oh, going back to the latex, getting a little bit of spanking time in and some latex skirts is is a wonderful feeling. It's that? Sp yes, yes, sound. the sound, the <laughs> feeling. Uh, is, yeah, nothing like anything else being spanked in latex. I couldn't agree with you yeah. more. Now, Miss Ava, you'll be back to dance for us in a little yes. bit. So everybody stay tuned for more Circus of Chaos. Let's see here. It's quite a ship you run here, buddy. Well, you know, we're trying to be professional. Yeah, the trying part's happening. Oh, God. Let's see. Chris Bellini here, the Blue Jean Critic. Be sure to check out my movie reviews right here on Coffee TV or go to coffeetv.com. You know, I grew up watching movies, a lot of movies. And when I talk about movies, it's not about analyzing them under a microscope, talking about plot points or suspension of disbelief or was the direction a little off. It's about did you laugh, did you cry, were you scared? Grab a popcorn and a Coke and be sure to watch my movie reviews right here on Coffee TV or go to coffeetv.com. I feel like we should be making out with this music. What? I feel like we should be making out with this music going on. No, there's no <laughs> girls here. Are you kidding? No, you and me. Oh, oh I got, I'm trying I got, to eat lunch right now. I got right that now. kind of music too. Do you still love me? I had to look away. I didn't want to tell him that my heart grows colder with each day. When you love. Top five worst lawsuits of all time, or should I say entertainment, entertaining lawsuits. You want of all top time. five, like crazy entertainment lawsuits? Yeah, I want to hear it, because everyone wants to hear it. All right, I got I got five for you. Let's start with, uh, let's start, you know, uh, blue right off the top, with uh, a little case about Chubby Checker, and an app that was out a few years back, developed by Hewlett Packard for its old Palm Pilot, so this is going back a few years ago, called, the Chubby Checker. Hmm, that sounds fun. And it was actually used to check the size of your chubby. <laughs> hey! So you can imagine Chubby Checker wasn't Uncle real thrilled with this. <laughs> no, he probably got upset, right? Yeah, he wasn't real happy, so he sued, and uh, they settled out of court on that one. So a lawsuit was brought against Warner Brother Pictures by the estate uh, and the family of a lady named um, uh, Patsy Ann. I can't remember her name. That doesn't anyhow, matter. Doesn't yeah. matter, right? But anyhow, so so this young lady was murdered. Okay, it's terrible. Oh, I know it's awful, right? Okay, so uh, she was murdered, and it turns out that the two people that murdered her were trying to mimic or copycat that movie, Natural Born Killers. 
So initially, the family brought suit against Warner, uh, or against the, the two murderers, and then when the murderers said, well, we were inspired by natural born killers, they brought a lawsuit against Warner Brothers and the production team, Oliver Stone, behind natural born killers, trying to recover damages and money for the loss of their loved one. The uh, haunted house that they do at Universal Studios every year. Yeah. Okay, big one. Lady sues the haunted house for it being too scary. Yeah. Who won? She won. What? Well, turns out that it was pretty scary. She actually got chased by an overzealous Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and she tripped and fell and hurt herself, and so she actually recovered damage. I think she won like $15,000 in a settlement because she hurt herself falling from the scary Leatherface. Jeez. So this one was actually kind of a legitimate lawsuit, although when you read about it, if you Google this lawsuit, it, they make it seem like it's kind of a joke, but it was actually kind of a serious one. She did fall, and it turns out the guy was being a little bit uh, too leathery. They should the have told them, Leatherface, go G-rated on this. Yeah. Be like, hey, I love you, with the chain, <laughs> instead of like, Bleh. That would have been the Disney haunted house, yeah, not the I, Universal Studios. Okay, and then is there a, a last one? Uh, actually, that's that's three, we got two more. I can't count, but I go know, ahead. That's all right. Uh, tattoos, we talked to, you got tattoos. Anybody else got tattoos around here? Anybody? They're all over in yeah. places you can't see right now, but it's fine. Oh, yeah, but Tattoos. Yeah, I think you're probably completely, yeah, totally tattooed. Um, the puppet does have yeah, a point, yeah. right? Blur the tattoos. Blur the tattoos. You gotta blur the tattoos. So the movie The Hangover, part two. Ed oh, Helms' yeah. character has the Mike Tyson tattoo on his face, right? Yeah. Uh, the guy, his name is uh, Victor Whitmill, who created that tattoo, sued Warner, who distributed the film and the production company of the film, saying, I own the copyright in that tattoo and you can't use it. He tried to stop distribution of the DVD when it came out, and they settled out of court, so he got paid presum presumably some amount of money or something for the use of that tattoo, but it brings up the issue that, you know, your tattoos are, or the person who creates your tattoos has some underlying ownership in the tattoo under copyright law. Right, crazy, wow. I know. Probably over everyone, except for the, the super smart rat. He probably got this. The rest of you guys is probably not so much. So we're all gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. Holy crap. All right, what else you got? All right, the Film. last one. Oh, music. All right, music. Insane Clown Posse. Yeah. You guys are clowns. Yeah. You good with them? I'm, I'm cool with them. Anybody insane. a juggalo? It's like they're fans, right? Well, the federal government, right? Yeah, still. The federal government actually classified the Juggalos as a street gang. What? And because of that, certain members of the Juggalos lost their jobs. There's a couple of them were kicked out of the military because they can, were considered a gang, gang members. So Insane Clown Posse fought this. Uh, initially, their lawsuit was thrown out. They were still, all their Juggalos were still considered a gang, but they won a decision uh, in an appeals court in the Sixth Circuit, uh, and that case is actually still ongoing. But yeah, I mean, crazy. The government said the Juggalos were a street gang. I mean, they look weird, they don't look any weirder than you. But. So are you saying that anyone here that's affiliated with me, we, the feds could come in and say, you guys are a gang? Well, I think you have to have a few more fans first. Oh, and we don't have any, I don't even yeah. know. I gotta Facebook the Instagram or yeah. something, I, mean, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, no, once you Facebook the Instagram a few more times and you get a few more fans, then you can start worrying about that, you give me a call. Okay, so we do, this is real magic hey, don't cards. touch everything okay, here. No, oh, I'm, crap, sorry. Did I tell you not to touch no, anything? I, just, I didn't know that We're was We're trying to do magic. Hey, Only you know what? Pros. We've got Magic Joe from Misdirections Magic Shop in San Francisco, right? Yes, San Francisco, 1236 9th Avenue, right here, right across from Golden Gate Park. So if I come in there drunk and need to learn magic, you could teach me magic? Uh, I don't know about you, Cousin Dave, yeah. but I can teach. I teach all the top pros in the world. Beginners, professionals, they all come in. They come in and get tricks. We've got books, DVDs, uh, tricks. Jokes, you name it, I got it. Any famous people come through there that you met? David Copperfield, Alex Ramon, you've got all the top guys in the world that come to see me, and I actually really do teach them, and I do do magic. Wow, well, show me what you got. Show, uh, look, let me show you something. Here, let me check this out. Check this out, check this out. Watch really slow. <sighs> look, check this out. Watch really slow, because that's one coin. Oh, there's another coin right there. Two coins, whoa. There's another one. Watch really slow, that's three coins. I'm going to make this coin disappear. Watch really slow. Here it goes, one, two, and it goes. Watch, two more coins, here it goes. One more time, here it goes. One, two, gone. Watch one more time, I'll take it. That's magic. 
Well, all the money's gone. I mean, I was wow. like, hey, can you re? Let's make coins and go buy all the chew bubble gum chew. Don't talk about that hundred dollar. Remember that? No, no, no. Oh yeah, no. But uh, let's. I do need that bag. By okay. the way. You so. want to? Uh, here, I'll do another one for you. This is up. They always say you have to do a card trick. A card trick. Is that good? Uh, okay. I want you to do a fair. Pick any card you want. All right, I want that one right there. Pick it out. There. Okay. Show it. Show it to everybody. My favorite number. You have it? All right. Okay. Okay, say stop for me. Stop. Place your card back. Remember the card. Concentrate. Focus. Focus. Uh, I said focus. <sighs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Watch really slow. And that. Come on. Nice. That's your card, the four spades? That is magic. Real magic. Magic. I'm Sasquatch, and this is Scary Stories to Tell by the Campfire. Are you kids ready for a pants punami from all the fear? <coughs> because tonight's story is the big toe. A woman was growing chronic in her garden, and she found a toe sticking out of the ground. She, she pulled it up and took it inside and thought, this looks like good meat. I think I'll put it in the soup. Dude, what the hell, lady? <clears throat> oh, what the hell? What's wrong with you? I've, I've eaten crazy stuff while high, like a whole box of old McRiddles, but toe soup? Jesus, lady, you're the scariest thing in this story. So, like, she's trying to sleep that night, and she hears a voice that's all... Where is my big toe? Where is my big toe? So she tries to ignore it and and puts the blanket over her head, but then she hears it at the door. Where is my big toe? Where is my big toe? So, so she op opens the door and what is it? It's a ghost. And, and he's got a stick up his butt because she took his toe. <coughs> and so she says, <coughs> So she says, I used your toe to make delicious soup. You want some? And, and he says, Sure. And, and he tries it and says, Holy, f this is totastic. It's, 
Tolicious. And she goes, That's because I use Shirasha. It's the rooster sauce that gives you the power of the cock. So the ghost goes, Hot damn, hot damn, I say. You should open a tow restaurant. I'll fund it with my pirate gold. Oh, 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 the, the, the ghost's a pirate? I, I forgot to say that. So they open up a tow soup. Soup restaurant in, in Williamsburg. I made a bunch of money because it's a popular brunch place, and the health department never closed him down for selling toes. That's why you don't trust the FDA kids. Down with Monsanto. Buy organic. The end. This is clearly a union shop, right? It is. Yeah. I, I have live entertainment. Yeah. Um, we have girls who... Sure. Very familiar girls. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad they found work. Yeah, you know, they yeah. found them and hey, it was good times. But sure. I figured I could do a celebrity interview. I mean, we tried to get a couple other celebrities and yeah. then I found out you were available. You keep the bar this low, I'm sure it'll be easy enough. I, I'm excited, so we're gonna ask a few serious sure. questions, all One right? Thing that, nothing more important to me than serious questions. Uh, you know, I, first though, I have to ask, wh where, where is No Name? I believe No Name is where he's always been, which is inside each of us. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I think we carry him wherever we go. And then I did want to ask because I on the camera where you parked, there was ladies who were in your van. Where are, where are those ladies? Well, those are actually Muni drivers. They weren't. It wasn't my van. I believe it belongs to the city or the county. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Oh, so they're not with you? No. No, they're not with me. No. Okay. Because I thought you'd have those ladies here. <laughs> okay. You, you, it's amazing how that stuff falls off when your TV show goes away. Um. So. Uh, I do need to know, next time you're yes. on vacation, sure. you, I, I needed you to write your address down. Sure. Me, okay. It's, it's right next to the police station, so if I'm not there, go there. Okay. Is that a light? Yeah. yeah. It's on. Here you go. I wrote it there. Awesome. On the back Thank there. you. Um, and then I did want to ask, yeah. uh, I'm creating this TV show, and we're really sure. trying hard, but yeah. what, what advice would you have for people trying to make a TV show? Uh, get a real job. I think would be my first bit of advice. And, okay, because no one wants to hire me, so I, yeah. what would be the next thing I should do? Um, slip and fall? Is that still a thing you can do? Because uh, then I'll know. get money, right? I, alleged, I think that's how that works. I'm not 100% sure. Then I could not work. I could sleep in it. That's everyone's goal, right? <sighs> okay. I don't know. Just keep going. I mean, there's enough crap on the internet that it seems like there's a bigger marketplace. Is there anything I should avoid on this show? Uh, well, there's a lot of things to it, but I can't tell you how to live. You're a grown-up. You make your own choices. You'll be fine. Okay, okay. You, you look like a man who's made a lot of really strong choices. Uh, I feel like you're well on your way. You know, there's still people out there, they'll ask me, and they're like, where's Balrock, and did you kill him? I'm like, I didn't do anything, but where, where can people find you? Because they want your address, they want to know your legal name. What is your full name? It's Bell Rock Dell. Yeah, it doesn't matter what my name is. But people ask me, sure. I don't know what to tell them. Tell them to go to Google or whatever. Psychotropictheater.com is where you can keep up with us and some stuff. If you want to see me in person, what you should probably do is find Eden Alexander, and I'm somewhere within 30 feet, probably behind something. <laughs> Look for the camera flash. That's probably where I am. Oh, God. That's good. Okay, good. I also thought of some advice if you're going to start a show. Uh, I, I, you know, I we had some time. We're sitting down. We're spending some time. Together. I need advice. If you're going to have a super hot woman as your co-host, maybe have her on when you have your guest. Oh. Not that you're disappointing, well, but I, you're disappointing. But I, mm. the sock monkey doesn't? It does not. Oh. Yeah. That's just a little bit of advice. Oh. Lead with the super hot woman. 
So I really, I ripped you off, man. I put you on the stinky couch. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, I'll make fine. it up to you at Christmas. Uh, why don't you just, leave, uh, you know, make it up to me by leaving me alone at Christmas? Okay. I, you know, hey, psychotropic theater. That's right. And, and I, you'll let people know, right? And sure. Get back to them if they want you to meet them for lunch or something. And, sure. All right. Ball Rock Del Cabo. Knock yourselves out, people. Good luck. Magic Joe from Misdirections. I think we gotta we gotta show people some more magic. Right? I'm going to teach you a trick, cousin Dave. Are you ready for this? I hope you can I teach hope me. you could do it. So right, let me I, just let me get sober for a minute and serious, okay? Alright, we're good. That's enough? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a napkin. Take the napkin. Oh. Okay. Okay. And you're gonna do what I do. Okay? So cousin Dave, we're gonna take the napkin. Yeah. And I want you to slowly sit. Rip it in half. Okay. That's Got it. that? It's dying right now. Not bad, not bad. That's very good, very good, very good. That's very good. Hey. So, take it, cut it, put it in half. Double it, right? Double it, double okay. it, double it. And I want you to cut it in half. Oh, man. Pretty soon it'll be like a phone book, right? right? <laughs> cut it, cut it, cut it, okay. cut it, cut it, all cut right. it. It's a little more jagged, but that's okay. all right. Okay, not bad, yeah. not bad. Okay, good, good. Okay, you're doing good, you're doing good. You know, put it, put it, okay. And uh, now, Go like oh, this. Crap. You're right, good, you're on. good, you're good. Right? Oh, let me just, yeah. Okay, here, yeah. Okay, right. you ready? I'm, it's, okay, like, the, it's ready for the hamsters. It's, it's, it's ready, now. okay, you ready for it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me just. How come you got? I can't do this. I tried. Well, holy crap! Wait, let me just. Will this go faster if we just? <coughs> now I need Miss Eden. Oh crap! Cousin Dave, <laughs> it's magic. <coughs> I don't know. Someone wrote that. Where, where do you come from? Where do you come from? That's a good question. Yeah. I don't know. I, I Maybe don't... we should look at ourselves first before we ask these <laughs> questions of others. Take a look in the mirror. I mean, I'm lucky I, I even woke up. I don't know why the hands in the mirror, but... Yeah. Uncle Schmarm, we need a big-ass milkshake, okay? No, wait, what, what are you doing? We what need a big-ass... Wait, 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 wait. I need the no, straw. I, I need the straw because I got to get to work. Misdirections Magic Shop, misdirections.com. I gotta get to work. I no, need no, the... no, you're hired. You're on the TV show. I know, but the... I, I Joe need... Joe Magic Joe. I need the, I need, but I gotta get to work. Isn't this Mr. a scoopy Russians? straw? We, no, you know... I got to get to work. Ah, oh, come on. I can't do my own magic. Forget it, Uncle Schmarm.